looks so good when the lighting is right. God, it does have some sentimental value for me. I've had something like 20 or 30 cars over the years. I used to go through a car once every six months or so when I was in my 20s. It's crazy. But uh, this one will be one of the harder ones. Or would be one of the harder ones if I were to get rid of it, get traded for something else. It looks so good now. It looks so good. Sitting just right. Sounds so good. And I built the channel with this car, so it'd be really tough to get rid of it. Ooh, plans might have changed a little. What's up? Seven hundo. There we go. This is what we're looking for. You go with all those. A couple practice swings out here. Did you guys see that video I posted to Instagram the other day of myself wiping the car down in the pouring down rain? I thought it'd just be kind of a, a funny clip, sort of a, a metaphor for not being able to keep up in life. And again, I just thought it was funny. I threw it up on Instagram, never thought it would get the traction that it did. Slammed it enough, uh, reposted it, got like 90,000 views within just a couple of days. Uh, mine already has 66 or 67,000 views at this point. Somebody else shared it just the other day, immediately got 15 or 20,000 views. Pretty, pretty wild. Never anticipated it. Just did it just to be funny for you guys that are following me on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, go ahead and do it right now. Speed Culture Studios. Uh, post a lot of more, a lot more uh, like day-to-day -day kind of stuff in there. Pictures of the car, obviously. I don't jibber jabber. We've got a lot of stuff to do. Well, the two and a quarter inch test pipes have got to come off. Of course, they're not street legal guys, right? But before they come off, like I said in a previous video, I want to get a comparison because these two and a quarter inch test pipes seem to make the car sound... The overall tone's not that much different, but there's just like a little an additional level of aggressiveness uh, on some of these little revs. Let's see if I can get a couple of little clips with the two and a quarter inch test pipes versus, versus my old 2.5 inch test pipe setup. I'll say that the SCS custom cat bag system sounds fantastic with non-resonated test pipes, but what I will say, and that is very clear now, is that the resonated that resonated test pipes do not do anything for rasp in your overall exhaust note uh, too small don't do much at all but what they do do is help with drone any aggressive aftermarket catback system is going to have a little bit of drone it just seems to be the nature of the beast what it really comes down to is whether or not you're used to it I, i've heard comments from people that have had their very first aftermarket exhaust system experience and that it's a little droney or it's too loud I can't handle it uh, but for those of us that have had exhaust systems done many times in the past uh, the car sounds totally fine what the hell are they doing here but the drone you can interrupt voice prompt. but the drone window with the resonated test pipes I will say is much smaller uh, it's probably 19 to 21 ish 2200 rpm something like that uh, but when i switched to the non-resonated test pipes uh, the drone window opened up slightly from probably 1800 to 2400 so a couple of hundred extra rpm uh, of drone but like i've always said i drive in manual mode so i'm always out of that range anyways i'm always cruising at like 2500 rpm on the interstate 70 mile an hour i never go into seventh gear i'm always in sixth and that's like 2500 rpm so i don't I, I don't experience drone at all per usual though guys i got a ton of stuff going on this weekend of course i mentioned that a little bit of plumbing and laundry room project done no leaks doesn't look the best but it's functioning it was a little risky but i like trying new things i like broadening my horizons and you know what if i would have messed it up you can always get a professional in sort of just how i was raised my my dad my parents didn't come from a lot of money we maybe didn't have a ton of money we didn't really have a lot of money growing up um so we just kind of you, you make do you don't pay somebody to do something that you can do on your own family's always just sort of had that mentality of you can really do whatever you want to do you do a little bit of research and you try it out and you can handle it if you just think logically about it and <laughs> something i sort of tried to pass on to my daughter too just you know don't hesitate don't be scared just try it you can always be fixed uh, but in the process, you gain a new set of skills, you gain some experience, and you gain another level of confidence. I think it's huge.
crazy weather makes for some really awesome video. I didn't even notice this in the last clip. Golly, that looks sick. And some rain, but I ain't pulling the car into the garage when it's dripping wet to work on it. Son of a gun. Let me know in the comment section below if you can hear a difference between the two and a quarter inch test pipes and the two and a half inch test pipes. There could be a slight bit of difference just because one is resonated and the other is not, but I don't know, maybe this is useful for you. There are not a lot of choices. Actually, there's only one choice right now uh, in terms of where you can get two and a quarter inch test pipes. Kinetics Racing, I'll put a link in the description below. Kinetics Racing makes them, and I think they have a couple of sellers that will sell them. I'm not sure who they are at this point. I ordered them directly through Kinetics Racing. First of all, because of the EPA stuff, everybody is taking their test pipes off the market because they're for off-road use only, but now the EPA is saying that it doesn't even matter. You can't even build a race car and use off-road parts uh, even if the car's never driven on the road, so that's kind of annoying. The theory was that you could make a little bit more torque with a smaller diameter test pipe. That's something that I want to talk about in probably the next video, uh, because you know we had this car on the dyno and we got some results, and now we have some data that we can talk about. But I, I have some, I have some thoughts, some hypotheses on why we got the numbers that we got the last time we were on the dyno. So we'll we'll do a deep dive into those numbers here coming up. It's really coming down, and I am parked on the street. Ready, set, go. Oh my god, oh! Jeez. Oh. This thing drip dry for a little bit and then we'll get to work later this evening take the test pipes out this is just embarrassing we get to work on this and the car oh, busy night there we go looking better got the stuff back up on the shelf I have to organize that because now we got some stuff we don't need no more got the test pipes up and I always like to take a look at the test pipes and the gaskets once they uh, get removed from the car because they can kind of tell you a lot about what's going on. I'd been hearing a slight uh, exhaust leak, nothing nothing big. Uh, you couldn't really notice it unless you're up against a building or you're passing vehicles uh, under heavy load, like wide open throttle. Uh, but otherwise it wasn't really an issue that I could hear. Uh, but I looked, as soon as I got under the car to remove the test pipe, I could see some uh, moisture coming from the joint uh, where the test pipe meets the mid pipe. Actually really good looking test pipes. Quality seems to be great. Welds were good. Flanders were nice and uh, you know, plain nicely. Fitment was great. They bolted right up, perfect, no issues. Uh, they fit the O2 sensors uh, perfectly. And no complaints, they're about $200 from Kinetics Racing, $208 or $218 shipped to the, my door. But we don't have them in the car anymore, so I'm not really sure what we're gonna do with these are about 200 bucks. I'm not sure that I'll give these away, but we'll see. We'll see what's going on. We'll see what the next project is. You guys notice a difference in tone between the two and a half and the two and a quarter inch test pipes earlier in this video? Here's a couple more clips. comments section below if you could tell a difference i really couldn't i definitely can in the cabin when it comes to drone again non-resonated test pipes a little bit more droney than resonated for obvious reasons non-resonated two and a quarter seem to give me a little bit more poppy noise um, at certain rpm or when i let off the gas after a certain rpm uh, so I like them for a bunch of reasons. But let me know again down in the comments if you guys notice the difference. I definitely need to take a closer look at these as well as the gaskets, but 
I'm gonna do that in the next video when we take a deep dive into the numbers that we made the last dyno session and compare them to the previous dyno sessions and I'll let you know some of my thoughts about that. Stick around guys for the leather airbag cover giveaway from Holisco's Carbon Fiber. I'm going to get in touch with him and see if he wants to sweeten the pot a little bit, but you guys wanna make sure you're subscribed and you have that little bell hit as well. You gotta get the notifications so you don't miss out on the giveaways. We do a bunch of them and I got a bunch more of them planned for the summer. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you check out the other videos. I got over 300 of them uploaded now at this point with a vast majority of them dealing specifically with the Q50 or the VQ37 platform. Essentially, if you have any questions about my car or the VQ37, they've probably been addressed at one point or another in those videos, so check them out. Thank you guys very, very much for watching. I appreciate the continued support and I appreciate you watching this video. More good stuff coming up this summer. Thanks again for watching. See you in the next one.